Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today I'm doing something different. You'll see videos from five different jigsaw puzzles. These are smaller, more kind of novelty like jigsaw puzzles. During their builds, I'll do voiceovers and I'll talk about the puzzles a bit more in detail. But for now, I'm just going to tell you what they are, number of pieces and the brands. So first of all, we have the crossword jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, so my understanding is it's a crossword puzzle. You solve it and then you assemble the puzzle and the solution will reveal itself as you go. It's 550 pieces. The company, it just says SJG GIF Publishing. So not a company that I'm familiar with or that probably makes jigsaw puzzles on the regular. And it's from 2011, so it's not that old. It's a pretty good size. I believe the pieces are a bit larger. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I hope I can solve the crossword. You'll have to wait and see. Next I have this Prime 3D 3D jigsaw puzzle. Beautiful image. I'm not sure if it comes across on camera very well, but the box has the 3D effect on it. This is from the Selfies collection, and the artist is Howard Robinson. It says here, described as the artistic master of adorable animals, both wild and tame, that brim with personality, the kind that makes a person smile. How nice is that? Working in the art licensing industry for over 25 years, his delightful images can be found reproduced and giving joy to many throughout the world. So this, I believe, is the unicorn selfies image. That's the artist. It is 48 pieces. And yeah, Prime 3D, a 3D jigsaw puzzle. Next we have, oh yeah, I thought about this. I opened this already. I love the box. Can you see? It slides out. I love that. The pieces were in a bag, but I took them out of the bag. So now I think I need to go get a Ziploc bag and put them back in because the bottom slides out quite nicely. And the pieces are going to come out. But this is, now I believe the manufacturer is Spin Master. Not familiar with them. This is from their Calm series of jigsaw puzzles. I believe there are three different images I could choose from. This reddish image is called Acceptance. Now what this is, it includes a 30-day app subscription. It's a mindful puzzle. So what you're supposed to do is download the Calm app, select a soundscape or meditation, listen, puzzle, and enjoy. So it's only 100 pieces. I believe the pieces are quite larger, a bit larger, which is nice. So basically, you're just supposed to calmly, mindfully assemble the puzzle as you listen to the app, which has either music or meditation. I am not going to download the app, but it does come with a 30-day free trial. I'm more interested in just assembling the puzzle. And you can see the pieces are a bit larger. They look very nice. I'm looking forward to doing this. I just have to remember to put the pieces in a Ziploc bag because I don't want to lose any of them. Next is a brand we've seen on the channel before, Wow Brands. I've done some larger jigsaw puzzles of theirs. These are just two cute little small novelty ones. I believe they're both 50 pieces. This is from their cereal collection. Um, there's six in total in the collection. You got Corn Flakes, Frosties, Rice Krispies, Crunchy Nut, Special K, which is the one I got, and Cocoa Pops. Yeah, so just, I like that it comes in the box that's supposed to replicate the product itself. And this one are Pringles chips or crisps, depending on where you live. And again, there's six different flavors. I got the salt and vinegar one. There is also, let's see, sour cream, original, barbecue, ranch, and cheddar cheese. So these are just mini fun little silly novelty jigsaw puzzles. I'm sure if you like that sort of thing, you would probably try to collect them all. But yeah, so let's just jump right into the video. You'll see these puzzles all being built with some voiceover information, and we'll come back at the end and discuss further. So for the love of puzzles, let's get to building. So here I'm going to do the two Why Wow novelty mini puzzles. And to tell you the truth, they were fun to do. The pieces are quite thin and the cuts are all the same apart from the border. So you can easily put a piece in the wrong place. But for, you know, a few minutes of fun, I enjoyed it. They were both just $6 New Zealand. They assembled. 
Um, yeah, I think I wouldn't buy another one. I'm glad I did one set of them. I'm sure some people would like to collect them and have all the different types of cereals and crisps, but I was fine with just trying one. I think that, you know, it, these remind me of if you're like in a corporate setting and they make you do like team task building things and kind of like a race or even like a scavenger hunt kind of thing and you have to stop and do something. This is the type of puzzle I feel they would make you do. But it was fun. It was enjoyable. I really appreciated that they had a little poster. I mean, come on. That, I mean, that makes me like any puzzle that much more when it includes a poster. So fun, you know, fun for what it is, fun for a novelty puzzle for sure. As for the pieces on the cereal box, by the way, they actually were quite a bit larger. Also had, you know, the inner parts had the same cut so you could easily put a piece in the wrong place. The only thing, these didn't lay quite nicely as flat. Um, with both puzzles, it was hard to move the pieces and sections around because they would come apart. But, you know, once again, it's a, a cheaper, inexpensive, you know, novelty puzzle. You can put it together. I had fun. Um, but you'll see in the, oh, in this cereal puzzle, I actually had like a piece at the wrong spot, which made me other pieces not um, look properly like they were in the right place but the pieces will fit all together so you don't realize that you have something in the wrong place until you're like wait a minute this line doesn't line up so yeah so <laughs> almost defeated by a little jigsaw puzzle i still had lots of fun putting it together okay i will try to keep my calm when talking about this prime 3d jigsaw puzzle i'm gonna start by saying I contacted the company online using their, you know, contact us form. And I wasn't quite sure if it went through because normally it pops up and says someone will be in touch with you in the next, you know, 24 to 48 hours. I waited a week or so, did not hear back. So I actually emailed them. I still have the email. I just checked the date. I emailed them well over a month ago. It didn't bounce back. So it went somewhere and I have not heard back. Can you tell what's going on with this puzzle? Every single piece is bowed, warped, nothing lays flat, nothing at all. The pieces are a larger size, they're quite thick because they have that 3D effect on top of them, so it's like a cardboard with the 3D effect stuck on top. However, don't make a product if the main point of the product is to assemble into a puzzle and you can't actually assemble it. This was beyond frustrating. I know I only paid $5.50 New Zealand for it, but imagine a child that saved their money or you bought this gift for a child and you want it to encourage them to puzzle. This would not be encouraging. This would be for, oh my goodness. Do you all know Jackie from Nerdy Crafter where she does cash or trash and go in the trash? That's us, seriously? that's what I wanted to do with it. I only finished it just to show you all. Now, I normally would not complain about a company. That's why I reached out to them and I waited. I wanted to hear their side of the story. Alas, I have not heard back from them. So I got my hubby to help me with the crossword puzzle. Now, one thing we figured out right off the bat is that on the insert they give us, the across and down are in two columns, whereas as you can see, he's doing the left side of the jigsaw puzzle. They're all in one complete row. So the puzzle wasn't exactly as we expected. I did pretty good though. I had just four or five missing answers. So let's see if you can figure them out. I missed 15 across. Louis Blank, air pioneer who made the first flight across the English Channel, seven letters. I'll pop up the answer right now. One across, Josiah Blank, British 18th century potter and industrialist, eight letters. I'll pop up that answer on the screen right now. 19 down, Northamptonshire scene of Civil War battle, six letters. I'll pop that up on the screen right now. 
And then 21 down, blank Binchy, maybe, perhaps that's how it's pronounced. Popular Irish novelist, five letters. And I'll pop that up on the screen now. This was very like UK kind of based. And the ones that I missed are all, you know, people or place related. So those were the ones I didn't know. I really had fun doing that jigsaw puzzle. I enjoyed puzzling with my hubby. And basically I just had to organize the piece by letters. You look at the piece and try to figure out what the most part of a letter is visible. Is there more E or O or P or L? And put those letters in first and then worked my way around. I think I finished off with like the purple purples and the pieces that covered multiple squares. For, you know, uh, another novelty kind of puzzle, I really enjoyed doing it. I thought it was lots of fun. I enjoyed doing the crossword. I thought I did pretty good, only missing four or five questions. That wasn't too bad. But yeah, definitely something I would do again. It's enjoyable. If you love crossword puzzles and you love, love jigsaw puzzles, you'll definitely enjoy doing this. Now, this calm puzzle, acceptance. I loved doing this puzzle. I know I'm speeding up the footage, but really, I just took my time. The piece quality, I was surprised. They're nice and thick and sturdy. I like the funky cuts, and the finish wasn't perfectly matte, but wasn't glossy, had a little sheen, but not too much. It wasn't hard on the eye. I think it looks good on camera. I love the colors. I absolutely enjoyed doing this puzzle. Now, I remember someone saying to me once, if a puzzle only took you 15 minutes to do, would you enjoy it? Absolutely. This took me about 15 minutes to do, and I loved every minute of it. And the quality. Do you see when I picked this up, how shocking this thing just comes right up. It is not falling apart. I accidentally pull a piece of the corner off. But overall, it is amazing. This thing is so durable. I want this company to make more jigsaw puzzles. I would do thousand piece puzzles from this company, no problem. I hope you enjoyed that video. I just have a few more comments I wanted to make. About the crossword jigsaw puzzle, the pieces, what I liked is they're actually quite large and they're funky shaped cuts, which was enjoyable to do. It is a loose fit, like I wouldn't be able to, to pick it up very well, but they fit well enough that it wasn't frustrating to do. And also, it's a bit glossy, but not super glossy. It wasn't too bad on the eyes. I Yeah, I did really enjoy doing it and I enjoy puzzling with my hubby. The two YWOW brand mini ones, I just want to say they're, they're not comparable at all to the thousand piece YWOW brands jigsaw puzzles that I've done on this channel. And I understand that those were more like standard typical quality jigsaw puzzles where these are the small novelty ones, still fun to do. I wouldn't expect them to be the same quality. Um, but yeah, if if that if this is something you enjoy novelty jigsaw puzzles i'm sure you would enjoy them and i'm sure you would know not to expect the same quality as a larger you know more standard cut jigsaw puzzle but i have enjoyed doing the YWOW wow brands jigsaw puzzles particularly the thousand piece ones this is the star seriously i mean look at that this is amazing that's one finger i'm holding one piece Amazing. I want them to make large jigsaw puzzles. What was the name? Um, again, I believe it's just Spin Master. I am going to email them and tell them thank you for making such an amazing quality jigsaw puzzle and they should make more and larger ones. And I know I didn't even download the, the app that came with it and the music, but it was so enjoyable to do, especially after the debacle that was this. So let's just finish by saying, if the company would have replied to me and said, sorry, there was a mishap, there was an issue, what I would have done in this video is said, oh, I got this puzzle, I'm not gonna build it, there's an issue with it, I contacted the company, they apologize, I really appreciate that. Instead, I've contacted them twice, radio silence, have not heard back, so I don't know, is it just my particular jigsaw puzzle that's defective? I also wondered if it was, because this is like the larger cut pieces, 
if the larger the piece, the more potential for bowing once you glue on that 3D effect. So I need to know, leave your comments below. Have you done a prime 3D jigsaw puzzle with the actual 3D effect on top? What was your experience? I found online that there's, is it 500 piece or maybe a thousand piece puzzles? Like I found a nice dragon one, but they're like 30 to $40. I mean, I'm mad for spending 550 on that. So I don't want to spend $40 on a puzzle and try to assemble it if that's going to be the result. Have you done a larger size jigsaw puzzle from Prime 3D with the 3D effect on it? Did it work? Did it not? Were the pieces bowed or warped? Have you done multiple ones? Was it just mine? There is a chance that it could just be one defective puzzle and that's fine. That happens. But I just wish they would have replied to me. <sighs> so yeah, let me know. Should I give Prime 3D another go? I'm willing to do it, but only if there's some of you out there that have done them without issues because I don't want to spend the money on another defective jigsaw puzzle. But then let's, let's finish this video on a more positive note. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Oh, they need, they need to make large puzzles and these are beautiful and colorful. So yes, I'm so pleased with this. I'm so excited for this, like so happy. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao.